all right hey guys welcome to windy studio and welcome to another brand new photoshop tutorial and today we'll be creating a very simple poster design as well as on photoshop so if you guys are new to this channel and haven't subscribed my channel yet then please 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 do subscribe my channel and also if you are looking for this PST file this will be available on my patreon and also i'd like to thank all of my patreon supporters for showing the love and support on my patreon so with that note let's dive into the video so here we are in photoshop and first thing first let's create an artboard and for that i'm going to press ctrl and n or you can just go to file click on new and i'll just go with 3 by 4 resolution to 300 color mode to rgb and let's keep the bitrate as 8 and let's click let's keep the rest as default and let's click on create and then right after that let's uh, drag and drop this background image right over here and by the way this image was downloaded from unsplash.com and let's press ctrl and t let's make it a little smaller yep just like so and uh, let's make it uh, black and white so for that press ctrl and u or you can just go to image adjustment hue and saturation and then let's make the saturation all the way to minus 100 select the layer go to filter and let's go to filter gallery and then i'll just use a cutout and let's see how it looks i think uh, in this uh, setting it looks pretty good for me so let's keep it like that and let's click on ok now let's create a circle so for that go over here and let's click on ellipse tool and let's create a circle Control t let's uh make it something like that and let's change the color to kind of darker red something like that and now let's drag and drop uh, this image right over here just like so uh, bring another image so for that let's go over here and let's drag and drop this image right over here Control T, let's make it a little smaller and right click. Just, let's just flip it on other side. Let's click on horizontal flip and let's make it a little smaller. Yep, let's keep it just like so. And maybe let's keep this under this layer. Yep, I think this looks much better. And let's make it a little bigger I guess yep just like so and uh, let's control and click on this layer to make a selection and let's go back to layer 2 let's create a layer max again let's do the same thing control and click go to layer 2 and let's click on layer max so this is what we got and then now let's change the blending mode for this to darken all right you know like let's make the bottom layer a little bigger Control t let's make it a little bigger and let's maybe let's keep it maybe somewhere over here here just like so all right now let's uh, drag and drop this texture file right over here let's keep it all the way to the top let's press ctrl and t let's make it a little smaller let's add a rotation yep just like so and then let's change the blending mode to soft light or maybe let's go for multiply now let's uh, drag and drop this texture right over here Control t let's make it smaller just like so and maybe let's add a rotation yep, just like that and again let's change the blending mode to a soft light i guess or maybe let's keep it as let's keep it as a screen 
now let's add some text so go over here and then I'll just use this font let's click one right over here mm -hmm. control T let's make it a little bigger All right, let's make a one more copy and let's make it a little smaller yep just like so and let's add some more text on the bottom just like that And then let's add a one more ellipse right over here and let's change the color to kind of lighter color or let's go with kind of similar color here yeah. control T let's keep it one right over here and let's add one more text on the other side so let's alt and drag to make a copy make it a little smaller just like so let's make a one more copy again control T let's add a rotation let's make it a little smaller maybe some more let's select both control T let's make it a little bigger yep just like so and then let's add a one more clip right over here and then let's go to the text tool and let's add some text and let's turn that visibility off for this layer for now and let's make a copy control j control t let's make it a little smaller maybe let's add some rotation yep just like so and again let's alt and drag let's make a copy of this text layer and let's change the text to maybe to number six control t let's make it a little bigger just like so and then let's drag and drop this barcode PNG right over here. Control T, let's make it a little smaller. Yep, let's keep it maybe somewhere over here. And let's add a color overlay. And let's change the text. And let's change the color to white. Yeah. Now let's go over here, let's add a text. And let's change the font uh, to this one and control T let's make it a little bigger and let's go to Windows character and let's turn up that caps lock so yep I'll just keep it like that and again control T yep and let's make it a little bigger and let's make a one more copy Let's make it a little smaller, control T. Yep, and let's change the position for this barcode. Yep, maybe let's keep it a little down. Maybe let's make it a little smaller. Yep, let's keep it maybe somewhere over here. And let's add some text on the bottom.
and then let's make it a little down yep just like so and now let's do some color adjustment so select uh this layer go to filter let's go to camera raw filter and then let's go to basic tab let's drop down the highlights let's increase the clarity let's drop down the texture a little bit let's go to the detail tab increase a noise reduction and increase the color noise reduction and go to the channel mixture and i'd like to just keep the red as it is and then let's drop down the saturation for other colors just like so and let's click on ok and then let's do the same thing for this layer so select this one go to filter let's go to let's apply the same camera raw filter and let's go over here click on apply previous setting and let's see how it looks and i think it's looking pretty good to me or maybe let's increase uh, the texture a little bit more yep and let's click on OK. And now let's do a final color touch up. So go over here and let's go over here, add a color lookup. And from here, click on load. And I'll just use my favorite LUT, that is my mood LUT. So select this one and click on load. Yep, just like so. And one more thing uh, let's go on very bottom. Let's create a one more layer. Go to brush. Let's go with a general hard brush. Let's change the color to black. And then let's add a kind of a stroke right over here. And let's change the blending more to more to Yep, let's go for our light, right? And then let's go over here and let's go for a cloud brush. Yep, I'll just go with this one, create a new layer and with the same color selected, let's add some clouds right over here. and let's create a layer max and let's edit some of these parts i guess yep and then for this one let's drop down the opacity just a little bit yep let's keep it yep something like that and yes, that's the final. And I hope you guys learned something new from this tutorial. And see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.